In order to simplify this expression, we need to multiply the brackets out. Now what we'll do is to take each term in the first bracket and draw an arrow to each term in the second bracket. So in total, we will have four arrows. Number one, number two, number three, and number four. And each arrow indicates multiplication. Now multiplication in algebra is easy if you follow the SNV rule. It stands for signs, numbers, and variables. And then looking at our expression, we can see that in front of the 2, there is no sign, so we could put a place a plus there. In front of the 5, there's also no sign, so we could also place a, f a, a plus there. And in, t in front of the square root 7 at the end, there's no number, so we could place a 1 there. Then looking at arrow number 1, we can therefore say that two plus 2 times plus 5 is pretty straightforward, that is 10. Moving on to arrow number 2, now we need to make use of the SNV rule. So we say plus times minus is a minus. Numbers, 2 times 1 is 2, and there is only the square root 7 that we can work with. Then going on to arrow number 3, a plus times plus is a plus, 2 times 5 is 10, and there is also only the square root 7 that we can work with there as a variable. And then arrow number 4, plus times by minus is a minus, 2 times 1 is 2, and square root 7 times by square root 7 will be the following. We've got square root 7 times by square root 7 can be written in two ways. We can say it's the square root of 7 times 7 is 49, or we can say it's the square root of 7 squared. In both cases, the square root of 49, you'll get 7, and when you work with the square root squared, the 2 and the square root cancel each other out, and you're left with 7 anyway. So square root 7 times by square root 7 is just 7, so we're going to replace that with 7 and now it's a matter of adding all the like terms so we've got 10 minus 2 square root 7 plus 10 square root 7 is similar to saying minus 2x plus 10x so it basically gives us a plus 8 square root 7 and then the last term becomes 2 times 7 is 14 or minus 14 and the final answer would then be 8 square root 7 minus 14 plus 10 gives me minus 4, and that then is the final answer to that simplification question.